Many of the experiences we have in our lives are meant to deepen our trust in God and our relationship with Him, and school is no exception to that. I've learned from personal experience that there is usually never a good time to go to school, but it is always a good time to trust in the Lord. I'd like to share a couple of experiences where I learned more about faith in a very real way. I worked at Disney and Actor Studios for about 13 years as an artist and a producer. One day when I pushed the elevator button to go up to my floor, I felt impressed that this was no longer where I was supposed to be. Well, I had put that thought on a mental shelf and continued to work. How could I leave a stable and desired career? How could I leave the good people I loved and worked with for the last decade or so? But it pressed upon me and I knew this feeling wasn't going to go away. I tried to put together a plan so I had something in place before leaving, but no matter how I tried, it didn't materialize. So I left without a job or an opportunity in place. I cried and had many deep, heartfelt discussions with my Heavenly Father during this time. What I learned was the plan was not to have a plan. I learned who I was minus any title, career, work relationships, or status. And though painful as this change was, it was an invaluable space for me to learn about my relationship with my Heavenly Father. Just two months after I left, that studio that I thought was stable shut down out of the blue and without warning. Throughout my experience in leaving Disney, I pondered and searched this quote from President Spencer W. Kimball, security is not born of inexhaustible wealth, but of unquenchable faith. Our true security and peace is born of faith in Jesus Christ. That faith in Christ is a choice we can make. I'm grateful he let me choose him. Not a month later, I felt impressed to look at careers that related to humanitarian work and nonprofit work. The job requirements led me to investigate a degree, a Master of Public Administration at BYU. I hadn't been making plans to return to school after my receiving my bachelor's degree, but he was showing me there was more ahead for me, or I should say more in me than I knew. The graduate school application deadline was just a few days away, but with his help, I was somehow able to submit all the necessary paperwork, recommendations, and interviews. I was accepted to grad school and just after was hired as a manager of the church's animation team, another unexpected opportunity. I was now looking at starting grad school, starting a new challenging job, and continuing to serve as my ward young women president of more than 50 young women. This didn't look possible, but all three felt right. So I trusted in him. Only he would show me how this was going to work, and he did. Throughout my three years of grad school, I continually watched his hand strengthen me in ways that I didn't think possible. He'd part the Red Seas of my life, somehow making a way for things to happen and for my capacities to expand. The Lord makes a way when we follow his promptings and commandments. The prophet Nephi declared that truth when he said, I will go and do the things which the Lord hath commanded. For I know that the Lord giveth no commandments unto the children of men, save he shall prepare a way for them that they may accomplish the thing which he commandeth them. The Lord will provide a way for us to accomplish the things which he asks us to do. If you are struggling to make things work financially or otherwise for school, just know that if you feel prompted to attend school at this time, that the Lord will provide a way, just as Nephi declared. Trust in Him. He loves you and desires to take care of you. During that busy time as a student, I would find myself having to choose things like helping the young women set up a ward activity or studying my midterms. I chose to listen to that same voice that had led me to that place and decided to be with the young women. I then prayed and did my best to study with what time I had. Time and again, I would take a test and somehow do well, always better than expected. The Lord is so merciful and kind. And it is important learning that I took away from my education, the character of God and his love for me as his daughter. The other learning from education is that when we put the Lord first and keep our covenants with him, all things fall into their proper place and we receive the gift of his peace and his help amidst the storm. We have peace because he knows he's in it with us. When we choose him, we will be blessed with all we stand in need of as we pass through the challenges he has placed before us. I love the Lord, and I testify that he leads this church through our prophet, President Russell M. Nelson. Jesus Christ is our Savior and Redeemer. Through his sacrifice, we can have the peace which surpasseth all understanding. It is his peace and love that will sustain us amidst the impossible or the unthinkable. He will provide as we keep our covenants and trust in him with all our hearts. This is his restored church upon the earth, and we have the fullness of his gospel. I know he lives and loves you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.